We had an assignment uh, to either come up with a stand-up desk or a screen that will go behind the stand-up desk uh, to create a sense of privacy and uh, the only other criteria it had was to have a shelf to put a planter on. Uh, this is our final product, but uh, this isn't what we came up with first. We had to go through many iterations to get to this. So as we started our design process, we focused on a more simple rectangular design and uh, the use of panels in a checkerboard shape to allow for a use of privacy and a use of light to allow into a space. Uh, we, we tried out some other versions where we uh, made the panels a little bit more unconventional to see how that would work in terms of light and privacy. And um, here we have a taller model, which is more uh, representative of what we ended up with, the taller model and less, uh, less width. And uh, we kept our same uh, checkerboard pattern here as we go through the model. And we varied in um, the, the height of some of these where you have some longer and some shorter uh, blocks to add a bit of variety. And um, as we look at a later drawing, we, um, we had a space in the middle where you could put the plant onto the shelf and add um, a bit of light into a space. And on the top and bottom, we had um, varying designs of panels, which um, while uh, making a space private or public, um, help divide the space in a sense of irregularity um, and you could use that um, to divide a space and make it private or public and it also allowed light into a space. Midway through the process we were required to build a study model. Our criteria were met in the study model by creating privacy with these planes on this bookshelf like screen and uh, the planter could be put in any of these spaces or on top. What we liked about this size uh, iteration was that these shelves could be used for storage. However, after being critiqued on that one, we decided that this iteration was better. So here we have one of our first designs that we actually put into SketchUp. Uh, it's a simple screen here with the opening in the middle and a plain element above and below surrounded by a frame. Um, we didn't add any detail into this just for the sake of uh, making it simplistic and how it looked as it was. Um, obviously it has a good a height in terms of a person and down here we had a, a simple version of, a, of the planar system and how you could use the grid to make it a regular shape while giving it a sense of privacy. We think our final model was successful because it met the two criteria that we had and uh, with the sliding planes in the slots, we could alter the amount of privacy it had, but what made it unique was with the use of the slots and the panels is we could filter the amount of light that went through it. Uh, this was unique and interesting because by sliding the panels, altering the, the amount of light that could be uh, brought through the screen, uh, you could, you know, have it set in front of a window, and uh, if you want more light, you can move the panels, even remove some panels to let more light in. Or if you wanted it to be darker, reduce the glare coming through it, you could slide more panels in and uh, spread them out to where they overlap just a little bit to almost close off the light source. Um, this also created a, you know, interesting sense of uh, privacy that could be changed, uh, which, which also means that, that you won't get tired of this screen because it'll be ever changing. You, if you get tired of one iteration of it, you can just slide the panels and it'll be something else. Okay, this is the iteration of our model that we derived our final model from. Uh, as you can see here, it did have the panels that go along uh, the shelf, and there was a shelf at the top, and in this one, uh, we did not have sides. We eliminated those from the checkerboard uh, bookshelf type idea uh, to lighten the shelf and to give it more of a, a variant look, like a, like a more of a creative look without sides being on there, like it's self-supporting. And from there we went to this idea where instead of having this in the middle here, we just had longer, 
panels to go in between the top and the bottom and this is where the shelf came up because we did extend it to six feet and it would have been too high to put a planter on there because it would have been overhead height which would have been complicated uh, the care of the plant is in watering and trimming and such so we ended up putting a shelf here where <clears throat> we cut uh, we cut the panel in half and at, at about four feet and eliminated that top part so it looked kind of like a chair but that's where our shelf was then we went to this idea where we just cut out a slot uh, halfway through the MDF panel uh, and just slid the shelf in but then we decided to go with our slot uh, just a quarter inch into the MDF and just having it slide in. From there we went to our final uh, final design for the top and the bottom of the of the screen. Uh, this is what we decided would be best for us out of uh, these we decided that this kind of uh, kind of placement of the uh, panels looked best <clears throat> and from that we kind of connected things and came up with uh, two diagonal cuts, two vertical and two horizontal and then from there we decided that this which translated to this was the most efficient and easiest to cut because everything is kind of centralized around this point. Uh, here we have the two horizontal or vertical cuts and then here is the other two uh, where we'd have the slots for our sliding panels. Uh, these two are fixed because they're what the shelf is fixed to and then these and these diagonal cuts where, where the, uh, the panels could slide. Uh, finally we ended up eliminating these uh, diagonal cuts because after cutting all of these we would have to use a different machine to cut these ones and it would have been over complicated and it would have weakened the other uh, other spots by adding a little bit more wiggle room for the panels. This is our model uh, right before those drawings where uh, we had the same bookshelf type look but we had two fixed panels here and here to help it uh, a bit more be a bit more structurally sound and then we had these slots where we slid in the panels from the side here where there's a cut and then we just slid them right in and fed them from the sides. So our idea was there, but we ended up eliminating the sides. And uh, this one was four feet, so the, the plant on top would end up kind of blocking or acting as some of the screen uh, there instead of having it being so tall because we thought that eliminates some of the weight and kind of make it more stable. But we ended up uh, thinking that our last idea uh, for the screen was more efficient than this one.